What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide. It's been a uh, couple of weeks since I posted last and uh, I, I really plan on doing a live stream over the weekend, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. I'll definitely uh, let you guys know ahead of time because uh, tonight I actually tried to go live for a little while and uh, it just, it was kind of hard without having people in there to like riff off of. So I think a little preparation is needed. And I know a lot of people that have been watching my stuff have said, yo, like I wish I knew when the fuck you were streaming because I'd watch it, you know? So uh, stay tuned because I'll post like a scheduled update kind of thing. And then you'll know when the, the stream is going to actually happen. So uh, welcome to an art supply hall, which is something that, you know, I've, I've talked about a lot on the channel talk about like my love of art and uh you know all this art that i got around the fucking place and uh, you might be able to see a little bit behind me nothing too crazy but um i do have a lot of paintings in here uh, i'm not going to move this rig around right now because it's just going to be a nightmare uh because the lighting in here sucks right now because it's nighttime but uh you know to get directly into the hall and uh into the matter of fact if you will uh oh real quick this isn't exactly an art piece, but it's going to be used for all my art videos. I have a lot of art videos I've not posted on YouTube. 666 in the comments if you want to see that shit, okay? Uh, hard drive, new hard drive, two terabytes. It's like 79 bucks at Staples. Totally worth it uh, and needed, okay? It's very important to back up all your important files. Otherwise, you know, once it's gone, it's fucking gone. I had a... Uh, when I was actually going to Fanshawe, I remember the... the program coordinator said you know there's 150 of you in here uh 10 of your hard drives are going to fucking corrupt and mine was one of those like in the first week so it wasn't that bad but still pretty fucking bad uh so this is my third hard drive on the go right now i can't wait to load some stuff on there um oh here's another goodie uh, i got this delivered to my mom's apartment this is a package okay that i'll be opening uh, doing a, like an, an unboxing of but not in this video because uh, this is about art supplies and not about fucking whatever package that was in hard drives um, something that I've really wanted to dabble in for a long time but I never had the proper supplies for uh, is watercolor so the last like two times I tried to do watercolor I ended up using regular printer paper and Obviously, it was a fucking complete disaster, and uh, you know I highly recommend not using printer paper with watercolor. Uh, so what I did was I went out and I bought a uh, watercolor pad of paper that consists of 24 sheets, nine by 11. This is the 300 gram uh, paper. Very excited to use this stuff. Never worked with it. Um, looking forward to that big time. This is put out by Artist Loft which I believe is like some sort of, uh, you know, just name or, you know, generic company from, from the art store Michaels. Now I'm more in the camp of supporting small art businesses and I wish I had it for that because, you know, I, I'm, I've been using the uh, Micron, Sakura Micron pens a lot. And at my local little cool art, sh art store, they're like 350 a piece. You go to Michaels, they're 579 a piece. Like, are you kidding me? Like, and there's, there's fuck all selection. There's like 10. I go to BJ's, which is the local art store, and I can get, you know, a variety of like 70 pens, it would seem. It's crazy. And uh, to go along with the watercolor, I got a watercolor pan here, which consists of 18 different colors. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out. It's gonna, I'm going to make a video out of it, so stay tuned, man. I cannot wait to try this stuff for like the first time, like on actual good paper with uh you know this isn't this is like a nine dollar pan of paint and they go up to like 150 dollars so we'll see how that goes uh oh this oh i'll save that for last um i i actually ended up buying these two paint brushes as well they're very fine uh like i'm not sure how to define these paint brushes 18 out of zero on this one it's a princeton brush this is another Princeton brush. It is one. So an 18 out of zero and then a one. Uh, because I, I do really fine detail on a lot of my paintings. And I know these are actually watercolor paint brushes. So I'll be able to get detail in there. Uh, 
couple of maybe about a month or two ago i discovered these pebo acrylic markers okay and when it comes for, to me in doing my paintings i like to use acrylic markers over oil markers because i feel like oil it just you got to do like 20 layers it, it just dries weird and i'm not into it like acrylic all the way and i will i will buy these markers until i can't find them i already have seven of them uh and now this will be eight nine ten eleven uh i picked up uh this is 0.7 of a millimeter which is like thinner than the markers that i can even find on like bombing science which is like a graffiti uh website where you can buy like paint art supplies all that kind of shit but uh so 0.7 of a millimeter so we're talking like pen like thinner than a pen kind of shit here uh they are the pebo acrylic marker and one thing i really respect about this company is they they always include an extra nib which is very important because depending on what you're painting or if you've primed it you know what i mean it can wear out the nibs pretty quick this is a what color was this this is just like a random blue i guess or what Oh, that's cyan blue. And then I got burnt sienna, which is going to be like a wood kind of color for me. And then I picked up uh, precious gold, which is going to kind of be like the highlight color for the wood. And then I picked up an ochre or okra, whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, glad to have those. And just They're expensive, man. Uh, you know, so I'm kind of buying them like a batch at a time. Like... First time I bought seven, and then I bought four there, but moving on. This is something that I find really fucking cool. Uh, these are like invitation cards, okay? But what I want to do with these, and I believe they're about the size of like a Pokemon card. I want to design like a, a set of cards with like my artwork, my characters, and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool, and I like to have the envelopes and shit. Like, I probably won't use the envelopes, but I just, you know, a fun little art experiment for me because I'm constantly... I feel like I'm on the move of like trying to like find something new to create. Like I got this comic book on the go, but um, you know, I'm a one man operation right now or probably will be for a while. And uh, to do everything, I'm sure you obviously know that it's a lot of work to make a comic book, to make anything really. And to do it on your own, it's like, you know, you, you gotta have time for that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, showcasing some more of this art stuff that I got lying around uh, in its own special video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for a new channel update. And uh, with that being said, I appreciate everybody for watching this little art supply haul. Hope you're having a great week. Continue having a great week and adios.